Kareem Hunt, the former Kansas City Chiefs player, Kansas City Chiefs star, uh, who was fired on Friday after TMZ Sports published the video of him uh, lunging at, shoving, and kicking a woman in, uh, in his hotel slash residence in Cleveland. Uh, to this point, as we've said, there have been no charges filed against him. The prosecutor's office, the city prosecutor, uh, continues to stonewall us. We've gotten no response as to what is going on with the case. And then Team Z Sports got another video of Kareem Hunt. This time uh, from an incident one month before the one you just saw. This one happened in Kansas City uh, at a nightclub back in January. Uh, and you're about to see, uh, this, is, this video is right after the fight where allegedly Kareem Hunt and some friends uh, beat down a guy after they got into a, uh, an argument with someone, uh, it sounds like he's a disgruntled Chiefs fan. Uh, Trump get a club. You're right. Uh, so you're gonna see Kareem Hunt being restrained uh, as this is right after the fight. Okay, people are about I don't know. I've never Look, it's like I, I get that people I get that people like love the Chiefs, but there's no reason to start a physical altercation about it. Yeah, this, the, yeah, uh, so this was after, right after the Chiefs had lost a playoff game. Right, it was after uh, they lost a, a, a close playoff game to the Titans, and Kareem and a couple of teammates were out celebrating, and this is after the altercation, Charles, but I'm told this got very violent. The alleged victim actually uh, sought medical attention and said that he had a broken nose, a broken rib, and a bunch of bruises and, and lacerations. Uh, he ultimately went to police, but uh, I spoke to people in that club that night, and they said it got very ugly in there and was a really scary situation, a, a bunch of big guys fighting each other. You can hear on the raw video, too, Babcock, where he, uh, the, one of the people who was in the club was going, I can't believe this is happening just because you guys are rabid Chiefs you know, fans yeah. and all the love for it, it's it's a crazy scene, and the guy that's holding Kareem back is a security guard, we're told, and that image of him being held back and restrained, it made us think like it, it looks- It looks exactly right. like what we saw in the Cleveland incident. Right, and where it's another situation where this guy who is a world-class, very strong, explosive athlete is, is so angry that it takes a, a, another built, grown man to like hold him back from committing violence, crazy. And a, and a security guard probably wouldn't even put his face in it unless it was getting really ugly. Because oh, man. let's face right. it, he's a celebrity in this, I mean, this right. Kareem guy's a celebrity at that club, so they're not touching yeah. him unless he's really off the rails. Yeah, by the way, props to the security guard. I was a security guard uh, back in college, and if there was a big dude like Kareem Hunt, that would get violent just stepping out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not worth it. <laughs> uh, but uh, it does, you're right, I mean, the, the imagery, uh, it shows, and again, this was one month before the incident in February, and uh, look, I, I'm not, I don't want to, uh, Kareem Hunt, who knows what's going to happen to him in, in the future in the NFL if he gets to play again, but there is clearly a pattern yeah, here. Yeah, Charles, of, when of, Kareem of Hunt talked after we released this video last Friday, he said, that wasn't me, that violent man that you saw, that's not who I am. But let's face it now, this is the third alleged violent incident uh, between January and June that we know of. So at what point is that your personality? At what point are so you a very, violent yeah, person? That's, right. a, that's a, a good question. Where's because the those border were his there? words. Uh, but as we said, as, as for what happened in, so uh, I'm sorry, in Kansas City, this incident, what happened as far as, yeah, the guy so had injuries. The guy had injuries. He actually went to police, like I said, a couple days later. He ultimately stopped cooperating with police, and because it was a non-domestic violence assault incident, if they don't have a victim, the police will not pursue the investigation and will not pursue charges. So it was ultimately dropped. Which is and Which very is indicative similar. of somebody getting paid off. Right? Possibly. Possibly. I'm not saying it did, but why would he stop cooperating with police? The, the thing, again, that like surprises me on this one, though, is this happened in a, in a nightclub. And if anybody's been to a nightclub, you know there's cameras all over the place now, especially in these high-end areas like this one in Kansas City. If a guy goes in and he's all bruised up, and in the police report it says the cops noticed that he had cuts all over his face and stuff like that, and he's saying, I got beat up in the nightclub, wh why wouldn't they go to the nightclub and, and look at the video? I, that's the part that I don't understand. And, and, I, and I guess they would if... If he went forward with this case, they would 
But he at least, at but he point. at least took it far enough where he brought it to the attention of the police like, to file why the initial that be police the report. First thing they do is to go get the right. video because that would settle all of it. it right. Is, it is a very puzzling, and, and you know, we've been asking the same question about the incident with the woman in Cleveland. Uh, they do have the video there, and still. Uh, no prosecution, no charges filed. So uh, it is very puzzling what, uh, especially in the Cleveland incident, where you have the video, why there is nothing that's been done uh, to this point as far as charges against Cream Hunt. Carl Beston from Melbourne, Australia here. I just want to commend TMZ on their reporting of this entire situation and bringing it all to light. While this second video I don't think is as damning as the first, it, as you said before, I think it could be said to demonstrate a, a pattern of violent behaviour. I mean, now, as you said before, three incidents. But the troubling part for me is that the incident from the first video in February only came to light because of you guys now, like some almost 10 months later. Yeah, Carl, I would say a lot of uh, NFL fans have said it is troubling that it took that long for it to come out.